Part 2, Vietze, Devar Malchus, we continue on page 203. Based on all that above, it is understood that the specific powers that Yaakov has coming to Haran, which through this he was able to overpower the concealed men of Haran, moreover, bond and unite above and below soul and body through the revelation of the essence of Hashem, and being that this innovation is accomplished through the descent to Haran, therefore Yaakov established the twelve tribes of Hashem, specifically in Haran, including in a manner of his children were complete, and to add this based on the above is understood, the precise wording of our sages, his bed, his children was complete, and not his children or the like, also an idiom for the concept of mata, lo, that also mata, lo, is complete, moreover, that also in a state of laying down of mata bed, which then his head, his body, and his foot are equal, he revealed how this is, his bed is complete, the completeness of the revelation of the essence of Hashem, which makes equal small and big, which this is accomplished specifically in Haran Lo, and the actions of the forefathers are assigned for our children, and becoming equal of this upper portion and this lower portion, as such that also the Mata, in the wording of the verse regarding Moshe, Mata, staff of Hashem, in his hand, which through this he is accomplishes all the signs and wonders in the land of Mitzrayim, Egypt, and Indian for Metzer, constraint, boundaries, and from the Metzer I called out to Hashem, because the answer becomes the answer me in abundance, O Hashem, the revelation of the essence, broadness of the essence of Hashem, since the complete refinement of the below is specifically through the revelation of the essence of Hashem, which transcends above and below the simplicity of the essence of Hashem, which is connected and united with the simplicity of a Jew and is known, and in the known wording, the Jewish people and Hashem are one, as spoken at length in previous Hasidic gatherings, since the main service of Yaakov in Haran, that is related in the Parsha of Vietze, was regarded himself, the revelation of the union and soul, and the body, his bed was complete, and of course, his this accomplishments, this, and of course, this accomplishment must be completed also regarding the world. Hence, we come thereafter to the Parsha of Eishlech. Yaakov sent angels in front of him to Esau, his brother, to the land of Seir, to the to Seir, to the field of Edom, which speaks mainly about the refinement of the world, Esau through Yaakov. It is explained in Hasidic teachings that Yaakov is the aspect of Tikkun, and Esau is, Esau is the aspect of Tahu, Tohu, and Yaakov sent angels to Esau. Since he calculated that Esau was already refined, hence there can be a union of the many lights and vessels of Tohu, Esau, with the lights and many vessels of Tikkun, which this is the completeness of the refinement of the physical world, that he becomes a vessel, moreover, united in a true union with spirituality through the revelation of the essence of Hashem, which is higher than Tohu and Tikkun, which is, which is thereafter revealed also in the confines of Tohu and Tikkun, that their entire content and revelation of the essence of Hashem, which extending from, there, from this, there are literally one. Only actually Esau was not ready yet then, only actually Esau was not ready yet then, which this is specifically in the true and complete redemption, as the verse says, until I will come to my master to Seir, and when he will he go in the days of Mashiach, as the verse says, saviors and saviors will ascend the Mount of Sion to judge the Mount of Esau. These two parshas mentioned above, the eighth say in Veshlach, in the service of Yaakov, our forefather, which they are the first place in the Torah where it is explained, and the order of the service below expresses the content and purpose of the general service of Torah and mitzvahs, and especially after the giving of the Torah to the ref to refine the physicality of the body in the physical world and make it a vessel for the spirituality of the soul, to the degree that the physicality itself reveals the body of the Creator in the creation and becomes one entity and one continuation of spirituality, including a dwelling for Him. Blessed be He in the lowest realms for Him, for His essence, and it will be at a an and it as will be accomplished in complete revelation in the true and complete redemption which then the physicality of the body and the world will be refined and they will be able to receive the revelation of the light of Hashem and the glory of Hashem will be revealed and all the flesh together will see that the mouth of Hashem spoke and the flesh itself will see godliness since there will be the complete revelation of the power of the creator in the creation including on, con on the contrary the stone from the wall will cry out the physical creation inanimate stone, vegetation, and animal, and most certainly the body of a person, the physicality of the world itself, 
which through it is revealed, the power of the essence of Hashem will reveal with an outcry the spiritual power of the creation and the will of Hashem in the whole world, similar to the female representing physicality, will transcend the male representing spirituality. The soul will receive its nourishment from the body. This very purpose of Torah and mitzvahs in, the genera, in general to accomplish the bond of spirituality and physicality became even stronger through the revelation of the Hasidic teachings, which its content is to accomplish and reveal the bond and union of godliness and the world through the revelation of the innermost of the Torah, the hidden aspect of the Torah, as it is revealed in the Hasidic teachings, is accomplished, the union of the deep aspect of Hashem with the deep aspect of the Jewish people, and this gives the power to transcend the below, the physicality of the world, that it will become a vessel for the re revelation of godliness of the revealed aspects of Hashem and also the deepest aspect of Hashem. And especially through the revelation of the Chabad Hasidic teachings, with this reveals the essence of the deep part of the Torah, which brings godliness, investment, and comprehension, and wisdom, understanding, and knowledge in a matter that we can gain great gain greatly from it, understood also in human intellect, which is created, form, and made, including also in the intellect of animal soul, Haran, also including in the intellect of the nations of the world, Asaf, and his known wording, disseminate your wellsprings outward, that the wellsprings of Hasidim, of the Baal Shem Tov, themselves should be spread to the degree of disseminate in the outside, including outward, that there is no further outward than it, that also the nature of the world and also the outside should be a vessel, moreover, unite with godliness. And may we say that therefore the main revelation of the Hasidic teachings is in the, in the month of Kislev. As known, the Kislev, the third month of the winter months, corresponds and corresponds and is connected to the month of Sivan, the third month in the summer months, which third is connected to the giving of the Torah, the Mount, and in the month of Sivan, the third month, in the time of the giving of Torah, the revelation of the revealed part of the Torah, and the month of Kislev, the third month of the winter, in the time of the revelation of the deep part of the Torah. In this month, there are asked, there are several special days in the historical dates of Hasidim, the 19th of Kislev, the holiday of the redemption of the Alter Rebbe, the founder of the Chabad Hasidic doctrine, in addition to it being the Yurtzeh of the Magad and Mizrach in the Hasidic Rosh Hashanah, as known, then the af as known that then after Petersburg began the main phenomenon of spreading your wellsprings outward, the 9th of Kislev, the birthday in Yurtzeh, the second leader of Chabad, the Mitla Rebbe, the 10th of Kislev, also holiday of redemption, also Hanukkah, at the end of the month of Kislev, has a connection with the revelation of the deep part of the Torah in the outside, because the main miracle of Hanukkah in the miracle of the jug and oil, which the oil of the Torah is the secret of the Torah, is the secret of the Torah, and may and we must light it in the essence of his house outside in a manner that the revelations of the secrets of the secrets of his house should shine through the essence of essence to his house also outside. The explanation of this, the connection of Kislev to the revelation of the deep part of Torah, the difference between the month of Kislev, the third of the winter months, and Sivan, the third of the summer months, is the winter months are days of rain. When we say he makes the wind blow and brings down the rain, which rain is connected with the service of man below, as the verse says, for Hashem did not make it rain on the earth, and there was no person to work the earth, and the mitts would come up from the earth and watered the entire face of the earth. Whereas the summer months, which follow after the days of rain, which are connected mainly and content of dew, which comes up from above, dew never stops, specifically in the content of rain, which comes through the service of below, and in the, in, and Geshemayim, rain, also in the idiom of Geshemayas, physicality, in Ashmias, in the physicality of the world, is emphasized the complete bond of above and below, and the mist would rise from the earth, from the earth ascends from above, from below to above, amidst a fine element, which this shows that in the connection and revealed to the confines of below, and the water of the face of the whole earth, from above to below, the rain descend from the clouds of the heaven above, however in a manner of, and the water... And water, the, and water, the face of the whole earth. They soak the whole land and the whole physicality, and also the panini, face of the earth, the panini is innermost of the physical land, as the nature of liquid water is the matter that it touches gets completely soaked with the liquid, which this is content, which 
this is the content of the innovation of the water refers to Torah in general, and especially the revelation of the Hasidic teachings in the month of Kislev to permeate the intellect of the created man and, in and the entity of the physicality of the world of godliness, the pure water of knowledge. Know the God of your father to the degree of in a manner that it is all liquid, that the whole world physically is completely permeated and soaked with godliness, spirituality. The earth is full of knowledge of Hashem as the water covers the sea, as will be revealed in the true and complete redemption which comes through spreading your wellsprings outward. And may we add, this is also hinted in the word of Kesla, the letters of Kes, Lam, and Vav, the levels of godliness that are Kes, meaning uh, uh, Husa, covered, hidden, and on their own, coming from the deep aspect of Hashem, they are revealed below in Lam and Vav, the numerical value of Ele, these, which denotes the complete revelation in the attributes of the person, which are divided into six times six, the complete revelation of the attribute of the details, six times six, Lam and Vav, in the revelation of the Hasidic teachings, in the month of Kislev itself, the union of spirituality and physicality is accomplished especially through the manner of revelation of the Hasidic teachings by the Mitla Rebbe. It is known that the revelation of Hasidic teachings was, an organi was in an organized manner and each one of our Rebbe's, our leaders, revealed and accomplished another stage and path in the revelation befitting the other of the revelation of new insight. Although who, oh who, can mix in his mind the differences between the luminaries of Hasidim, however, the Rebbe's of our leaders themselves revealed the levels. And the Altar Rebbe is a level of wisdom and Hasidic teachings. He revealed the manner of the Hasidic teachings in a manner of a point. After that, the Mitla Rebbe, the level of understanding, brought out the point and the point of wisdom with lengthy explanations in understanding and comprehension to the degree of wide and broad, the broadness of, the, of a river, the broadness of of the river of understanding analogous to the river, the water of a river understanding which is drawn from the well wisdom only that is only that in the river they brought in the spread and spread out as we see this in the hasidic discourses that the ideals in hasidic teachings of the altar ready come out by him as a vast revelation widespread and broad 